Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt. It's another learning unit. The Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. This is the only, well, this I, I'll, I'll tell you more about it. It's the Great Pyramid of Giza. Look at that. All right, so all of these seven ancient wonders of the world pops um, make a giant map of the ancient world and you can, you can build them all. Um, after you've built the, all the pops, you can assemble them together. So let's get started on the um, Great Pyramid of Giza and let's learn a little. Well, it's also called the Pyramid of Khufu, who is a really amazing um, pharaoh who built a lot while he was alive. And this is the only ancient wonder that still stands today. At 481 feet tall, this is the largest human-made structure in the world for about 3,800 years, at least until 1311 AD. It's estimated that the pyramid is made of 2.3 million blocks of limestone and granite. That is a lot of work, and the creators of this amazing structure should be very proud that we still are able to see it today. So let's make our own Pyramid of Giza. I mean, it's gonna be made out of paper, but it's still gonna be cool. All right, let's get started. So what do we do first? We download the templates. There's a link down below. You click on it, download the templates onto your computer, print it out onto cardstock. Cardstock's a little thicker than regular paper. Um, you can use any color that you like, and you're gonna print it onto like, um, I think it's four pieces total here. All right, let's take a ruler and a big old paper clip. There we go. And we're gonna score all the dotted black lines, all right? So let's take this ruler, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub the rounded edge of this big paper clip. We're gonna press a little along all those dotted lines, and that's, that's called scoring, and that makes the paper easier to fold. Let's get started on doing all the rest here, here on this piece for our pyramid piece. And we're just gonna lay our ruler in on one of those straight lines. The ruler is just being used as a straight edge. And we're just gonna press a little along each one of those dotted lines. And that, what it does is it sort of breaks up the paper fiber a little and makes it a little bit easier to fold along all those dotted lines. All right, next up, what do we do? We cut out the pop-up pieces using a really nice pair of scissors. And we just follow along all those solid back lines. Now, I always use, now, if you're right-handed, don't use left-handed scissors. Use scissors that are comfortable for you because you've got to cut out all these pieces and you want it to, you know, you want to be able to follow the lines, right? So take your time, um, rotate the paper. So now let's cut out this pop-up piece. And again, what I'm, um, we're gonna follow along all those solid black lines. And you can see that instead of actually moving the scissors a lot, we actually move the paper more. And that is just, it makes cutting things out really easily. And then you can do it very slowly, very carefully. All right, now we're gonna fold um, along those uh, dotted black lines. It's really easy now that we've scored everything. See how easy that's the base page, just like that. And we're just pre-folding everything to kind of tell the paper, hey, you need to go in this direction. All right, so we're just folding it right here on this pop-up piece. This is gonna be the pyramid. I'm gonna fold it right there, like that. And let's fold this way. There we go. There's this tab that's gonna fold down that way. And then these two big tabs on the base page. Well, they will glue to the base page. Right here and here. And there we go. I think we're ready to assemble. So, hey, 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 glue, we're gonna need you. We, we could just use some regular craft glue. You can use um, a glue stick if you want. Now we're gonna put glue just in these gray areas here where it says tab A and there's tab B, all right? So those are gonna go right there. Let's get that glue. We're gonna just fill that space just like that. And I, I usually like using a glue bottle that has a nozzle because then I can kind of, you know, I can kind of paint in the glue just in that, uh, just in the area I want. Just like that, there we go. And now we're gonna put those tabs down, let's do it. All right, there's one tab, there's tab A. And you're gonna see that the gray, gray area matches exactly. And make sure, see that little point where the fold is right there? See that point that, that matches up with the center of the, the base page? You wanna make sure that the, the fold lines up on the center of our pyramid piece. See how that goes? It's directly in the center. And then we're gonna do this other tab down on the opposite side. See how that is? So it, that center line in the center of our pyramid piece lines up with the center of the base page. Okay, there it is. There's part of our pyramid, but now we need to close that pyramid up. So let's fold these down. See that tab there? There's tab C, and that's gonna glue right on itself. This is a super easy pop to build, right? It's just really one piece. It's cool though, because it really makes the shape. So let's glue just in this area, and you're gonna see that the tab fits exactly within that space. 
and then going to glue that down just like that. Make sure you know you kind of press it. You want to make sure that it glues down properly. Let's see how it works. What's it look like inside there? Next, let's glue on the cover. Now we had this extra piece. This is going to be the cover of our pop-up. We're going to make sure that our um, the fold of our pop-up when it's closed is going to the left. We're going to glue this cover on and we're just going to take some more glue. We're going to fill the entire front cover of our pop just like this. And we're, we're gluing this on just so we have a nice cover. Now remember, you can decorate your pop. It doesn't have to be just, you know, one color like this. You can decorate it with markers or crayons or colored pencil, whatever you like. Um, you, can, you can either decorate it before you assemble it or you can decorate it when it's assembled. Um, now that we've got the cover on, so you can even decorate the cover. Now inside you can write stories, you can draw more pictures, you can do whatever you want. This is your creation. So you can decorate it however you like. Let's glue the pop onto our map piece. And I wonder where, uh, gosh, I wonder where the Giza Pyramid is. Hmm, hmm, you think it's in Egypt? So you can see it near the Nile. And our little map, it's only a portion of the ancient world there, but you can see there's the Nile River. It's right, right, it's, uh, emptying into the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, I can't wait to put these all together. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh my gosh. All right, everyone, this is Matthew Reinhardt saying thank you so much. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. And if you enjoyed this, let me know what else you'd like to see in the future. This is Matthew Reinhardt saying keep on popping.